You're right, I'm going to blow your mind by starting over here, but then I'm going to move over there. Hi, Mom on TV. Uh, basically, think about that you just went to the grocery store, and you go week after week, and you never get a bill. And then at the end of the month, you finally get a bill. Well, currently, that's basically how we actually buy power and do our energy usage. This is Lord Kelvin. You probably know him as the Kelvinator, Mr. Absolute Zero. One of the funny things that he said, though, which is really true to our talk, is he said that if you cannot measure it, you cannot improve it. So tonight's about measuring it. This next guy is Stephen Chu. He was supposedly the dumb one in his family. Nobel Prize winner. He's the energy secretary under Obama right now. He said energy efficiency is not just the low-hanging fruit. It's actually the fruit that's rotting on the ground. And two weeks ago at a home uh, renovation store, President Obama said this. He talked about insulation being sexy. It's probably the first time it's ever been said. But what it comes down to is science is back in this administration, and energy efficiency is really important. Now, the gateway drug that got me into this originally was a thing called the kilometer, the kil uh, kilowatt. It's only cost 25 bucks. Some library systems around the nation are written them out. You plug something in, you figure out how much it costs. But you have to go around to each one of your devices, and it sort of gets boring after a while. There's actually a better way. But it started making me think, what, what, what is a kilowatt? That's 1,000 watts for one hour. Real exciting stuff. Around the country, that's about 12 cents. Here, it's a little bit less. But if you leave a light bulb on for one year, it costs 100 bucks. All the stuff on your house that's on, it starts costing a lot of money. And I started thinking, I need to sort of uh, take this a little further, and I wanted to get down and dirty. I wanted to sort of probe my house and figure out what was uh, up with it. And I thought, well, I need to sort of get the anatomically correct full body scan of my house. So I called the guy that does a full energy audit. He does the blower door and the thermal imaging. At the end of it, you get all this information. And it really tells you how badly your house is and what things you want to do to change it. Now, the neat thing about it is recently, Google decided to get involved in this. And what they're doing is they're partnering with utilities all over the country. Currently, our utility company doesn't see the, the need or desire. But there's a workaround and, uh, that you can do yourself. Now, the thing about it is Google, anywhere in the world, once you hook this up, you're able to see your energy usage in real time. You're able to have it on your iGoogle page. You can figure out what's going on. Right here is when uh, my furnace went out on January 1st, and I needed to heat my house using my, my, electric, my clothes dryer. Very expensive. <laughs> now, how do you do this? Well, you need a device called the TED. It's 200 bucks. This part goes into the fuse box. This is called the gateway. You stick that in your house. You actually do an ethernet into your wireless router. And then you go to your electric box. On your electric box, you turn off the, the power to the electric box, very important. And then you clip those two clips to the top there. And then you stick the rest of it in here. It only took me about 10 minutes. Um, and if you're alive and this green uh, light is blinking, you actually start working. It sends the information through the power lines in your house. I am not kidding. Now, what kind of information do you get? This is like a video game where you get paid to play it, all right? <laughs> it tells you CO2 usage, how much uh, watch you're using, the amount of money you're using in real time. It also does projections over time, but it also tells you when you flip on a light. So the next thing you get is a graph here. This is when I uh, obviously opened the refrigerator, uh, the clothes dryer's on, uh, the wife turned on her, no, actually that's battery powered. So, um, <laughs> so everybody, everybody's probably thinking, hey, is there, is there an app for that? Well, actually, right now, in real time, this is called the Tetometer. Provides the same information. Shout out to at JED. He's in California watching. He actually helped me hook it up so that we have a port forwarding. And so right now, I can see exactly how much watts are being used in my house in real time with the TED. And the first step that you get is you actually just get awareness, and it makes, your, makes you change. But if you start doing other things, it actually makes a bigger difference. The biggest different things you can do is air seal and weatherize your house. Very inexpensive but makes a huge difference. The next thing is insulation, line drying your clothes, vampire power. There's $1,500 in incentives right now, but the other two are changing out your light bulbs. Don't worry, you can get some one that look good, but also uh, getting a programmable thermostat, it's huge. So, harking back to Lord Kelvin, with Google, you can improve it and you can measure it. And I want you to know that you can be smart about this. You can make these changes. You don't have to wait for a bare-chested messiah you know, uh, riding a unicorn, jumping over rainbows to come save you, okay? But pictures of that, <laughs> but pictures of that are very funny. Try not, sorry, I forgot that one was in there. Now here's the thing. I told the guy that did mine, he thinks that people in Oklahoma aren't that into this. And I told him they really are. Usually they cost $350 to $500. 
If anybody wants this, they can do it for 75 bucks. Just get a hold of me, and I'll forward you the information. You get the blower door, and you get the thermographic, and you get the, all the information. You get one day to contact me, and I'll send the information. Thank you very much. Bye.